Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Lutron Plaro wall plate. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So it may seem like a weird thing to make a video about a wall plate, but the other day I mounted one of these Pico wireless controls in a wall box and the wall plate sticks out from the wall. So there's a little gap. It's actually a different model from this one, but it's the same size. So I wanted to find a different wall plate that would work. So I'm assuming the Lutron one will. So I'm going to replace the existing wall plate with this one, and we'll see if it sits more flush to the wall. But I am going to unbox it here on my bench so we can take a close-up look at it. And here are the instructions on the back. You can pause and look at those. It's pretty straightforward. So let's get this open. Okay, so it says pry it apart. Looks like I could just go in here and pull these tabs over. So I'll stick my hand in here. It's pretty tight. I think I can just get a screwdriver there and pop that open. I'm sure I could pry it off like that, but it was just easier to use a screwdriver. So it has these screws here. They feel like they're captive. If we look on the bottom here, there's a little recess, and you can see the top. It has the clips. Let's see if I can get a good profile of that. So you can see how that clips in here. So what you do is you mount this on the wall like you would a typical faceplate, and then this clips over the top. So let me get a measurement on the depth of this. So I got 3.3 millimeters, 0.13 inches, or an eighth of an inch. Now I measured it on the end here, and it kind of goes up and down just a little bit. That looks like it's probably the shallowest part. So now I'm going to head to where the switch is, and I'll swap it out. Okay, so here I'm at the wall switch. You can see the gap here. Now this is a battery-powered remote. If this was wired, then you should shut the power off before you do this. Even though you're not getting into that part, you should do it anyway. So I'll take this off. Now I have the new face plate, I'll screw it on. So it's pretty flush at the bottom, there's a still a little gap at the top. And this is an old work box, I guess I should mention that. So then we'll put this on. There, so there we go. So you can see the switch here, this is the remote, the Pico, or Pico, is Pretty even all around. A little bit of a gap at the top, but it looks a lot better than the other one. Gives it a nice modern look. So that's the Lutron Claro faceplate. I'd give this a thumbs up. I think it looks better than what I had on there before. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.